Today we have a look at the yellow base machine. No, not that one, this one. Behringer's TD3. And how to use it with an external sequencer. Obviously the whole charm of this machine is in its built-in sequencer, which is very inspiring and requires you to know very well in advance what you want to do. But I wanted to have a look at how it would be possible to integrate it with a DAW and what tricks you can do. So uh, obviously it comes fully equipped with MIDI in and out, plus with um, a class compliant USB connector, so it's all ready to go. Note slides are possible by overlapping the keys or by using pitch bend. And accented notes are possible by hitting a bit harder, which of course with this small flimsy keyboard is a bit difficult, but we'll have another look at it in a moment. If I want to synchronize the TD3 with my sequencer, I can change the synchronization preferences by pressing both buttons on the right simultaneously and then selecting USB. By doing that, the TD3 will now react to incoming MIDI time code and follow my sequencer, but it will still play what it has in its own patch memory. And you can see that it's really following the beat. If you're not on the full beat, the TD3 will wait until the correct moment. Obviously, while acting as a slave, the TD3 will not react to its own tempo control, so the speed is entirely dictated by the external sequencer, which makes sense. Synchronization opens up nice possibilities, because you can use the TD3 sequencer to play other synths, to double the lines it's playing, or to play something completely different altogether. Or then, since the beats are synced, you can have a drum machine, a virtual one or a real one play along. All of this becomes easily possible thanks to the synchronization possibilities. When the TD3 is synchronized, this enables you to record the MIDI output. Everything that the TD3 plays is being output as MIDI in real time via the MIDI outs and also via USB. So you are actually able to record the MIDI notes that the TD3 is playing. The MIDI clock can then be disabled once you have all the data you need in your sequencer. And that way the TD3 becomes a sound module of sorts and will react to the incoming MIDI and it will not play from its own memory from its own built-in sequencer anymore. This now gives you the possibility to change the notes, to move patterns around. The random pattern generator you're probably aware of, you can activate it by pressing the leftmost buttons simultaneously while not in play mode and this will store a random pattern into the currently selected track. Now if you do that some 20-30 times you could then import them all into your sequencer and then change them to your heart's content without having to fight with the built-in sequencer in this machine. So this might be a nice source of inspiration. Now let's have a look at how to achieve accented notes. As we saw in the beginning, hitting a key harder can result in an accented note. Uh, anything else just will play with the same volume. So there is actually just one threshold and if you go above that threshold you will get an accented note. Let's have a look in the sequencer. The highlighted note you see here is accented. And now I'm gradually reducing the velocity to see when we lose this accent. And at 96 it is not accented anymore, so the accent comes from a velocity of 97 onwards.
The TD3 is surprisingly versatile even when using it with an external sequencer. I wouldn't have thought that. Granted, the charm of this machine is the built-in sequencer. So you're kind of giving something away when you're not using it because this sequencer is forcing you to think ahead of time. Uh, you have to enter the notes, then you have to enter the pauses and the lengths of the notes that can result in happy accidents. So yes, in a way, it's sad not to use it. But on the other hand, if you are more used to your own sequencer, be it a software sequencer or a hardware sequencer, it's good to know that actually you're not losing any of the TD3's functionality. That said, happy music making and please let us know how you are using your TD3. Leave a comment below. <laughs>